Hey everyone, so last video I showed you how to capture your in-game footage using Fraps and now I'm going to show you how to pull that all together in an editing program called Windows Live Movie Maker so you can get your videos up onto YouTube. Now I'm going to show you Windows Live Movie Maker over some of the other ones such as Virtual Dub because first off it's free as well as you can save your videos in HD format which some of the DivX codecs require that you purchase the codec in order to be able to save your files in HD. Um, so that's one of the benefits of uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll try to make this uh, tutorial pretty short so I'm going to jump straight into the website where you can download it. Um, so just go Windows Live Essentials for Windows 7. You go to their main page. This is what you want. You want the Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, you can download the whole package here. I'm sure during the installation process you can decide that you only want the Movie Maker to be installed and not all these other um, items that might not be of any use to you. So we'll get out of here. So let me show you how to add your Fraps generated AVI files into Windows Live Movie Maker. This is very simple. Basically go to the folder where Fraps saved your movies. I've added them into a folder. Um, so this is an example of a StarCraft II replay. So it was about a 10 minute game and it generated about 10 3.95 gigabyte files. So you can simply select the ones you want to add and drag and drop them into Windows Live Movie Maker. So you can see here on the right we have a storyboard and on the left we have a preview screen. So on the right you can see there's one movie clip, two movie clips and our third one that we added. So it's a pretty simple interface. Um, up above here you have a bunch of different icons representing different actions that you can make on your movie. Um, and then you have some tabs up above where it kind of organizes these different icons. So anyways, so your home is basically your general tab. This is where you can add your videos, um, add your main things like titles, captions, credits, and where you have your upload options and uh, export options. So if we move over to the next tab, you can see that uh, you can add different animations to your to your video. So if we select this uh, this first clip here, we can go and choose a certain transition. And if you just hover over top, I haven't actually clicked, you can just see the different transitions and what it'll look like in the preview screen, which is kind of neat. Um, I don't add any transitions to my YouTube videos because I find uh, they're just kind of annoying. Um, you can also add visual effects. I don't really see the purpose of these either, so I don't use them. You know, black and white. Right, so, uh, um, you can go to the project tab. Now, this is something that that is key. So, do you want um, a widescreen or standard display? Um, YouTube supports widescreen um, display, so especially if you're doing something like 1080p, um, or if you have a widescreen monitor like I do, this is essential. Um, the view, um, not too, not too useful. You can preview in full screen. I don't use this either. Um, the video editing tool is useful. So there are two um, options in here that that I do use often, which is the trim and split tool. So the trim tool is kind of neat. So let's select the second movie clip, and we'll select the trim tool. And uh, you can see that we can set a, a start point and an end point to our video. Um, and then we can highlight certain areas of the video. We can preview Sir, the sort of highlighted area um, of the clip that we want um, that we want to trim. So that's kind of neat. Um, you can see that it's actually kept the entire original clip. It's just trimmed down a certain portion of it. Now, if you don't like the trim, um, then you can just simply just cancel it. Uh, another video editing. Um, option you have here is to split the video. So let's go to our clip 1 and uh, we can choose to just split it at that point. We can choose another point in the clip and we can split it again. So now the reason you might want to split is to add in maybe a caption so we could jump back to our, our home tab here and we could add in uh, yeah, maybe a title. Maybe you want some sort of a transition title saying you know section 2 of your video. So that's kind of neat. Now we can delete that. Um, so those were the video editing tools. Um, now the three other main things I do use are titles. So at the beginning of your video, you might want to add a title saying what it's about. This is, you know, this is Chris Arxy's, um SC2 game. Um, so that's kind of neat. It's kind of all done for you. Um, you can add a caption somewhere in your video. Uh, so some text on top saying, you know, this is 
This is the start of the game. You can choose how long you want it to last um, here. You can also specify the start time to be very specific if you want to line up exactly with a certain frame. Um, you can drag any one of these sort of captions along the bottom here. So this is your start point and it will last the duration that you've set. Um, so that's kind of neat. What else can you do on this home tab? You can add credits. So at the end you can say, you know, this was done by Chris Arxey and friends. Well, actually not friends, just me. So anyways, um, you can also add music. I don't really add music because in tutorials it would just be very distracting, but uh, maybe you want some light music in the background or some commentary for, for a game you have. Or if you're not talking at all during your, your gameplay, you might as well have some music playing in the background. So I'll show you how to do this. You can just add music. So say in our tutorial video we want uh, we want a little Katy Perry so uh, we'll just select that file and you can see that uh, above all the clips it'll show you uh, where Katy Perry is going to play and the song will end at a certain point and that's where it ends and you could either you know choose to loop the song or to play another song right afterwards so that's kinda neat so that pretty well covers uh, Windows Live Movie Maker and all the sort of options that you can uh, that you can use so you can see as as you add a video or add, as you add music you get a new tab to, to specify uh, certain options for for say the music we just added you can set a, a start time a stop point as well um, and we added text as well so you can go and change the text you know certain different effects um, sure your font sizes etc so that's kinda neat so let's get to the final step here so we can make this video nice and short um, Basically, there are two options to get this to YouTube. So either you can save the movie in HD format, um, which is which is why I'm showing you how to use Windows Live Movie Maker because it supports this option. So you can save in high def. So you can see I have my Frappes demo saved here, and I have another test. So you can save it directly there. It's going to take some time depending on the size uh, of your video. You can see this one ended up saving as uh, close to you know close to 100 megs and that was a 10 minute video for YouTube or you can upload to YouTube directly so if you click YouTube you can choose your resolution so if you want HD 1080p then you choose the first option you enter your password you know you enter the same information that you'd have to enter on youtube.com so my my SC2 movie um, uh, replay so this SC2 might be one of your tags so you can select a category um, gaming public and then you can just publish and as soon as you hit publish well actually sure we'll start to publish this but I'm gonna cancel it so you can see it's gonna save the movie first and then it's gonna publish it and this can take some time so this is just you know uh, four minute and 26 second movie and it's and it's gonna take some time even on a an i7 processor you know six gigs of RAM etc it's gonna take you some time so we'll cancel out of this and uh, that pretty well sums up what I wanted to show you actually I'm gonna quickly show you how uh, if you don't already know um, yeah the other option would be to go into YouTube hit the upload video button and then select your, your video from the folder in which you've saved it to. So that will now sum up uh, the tutorial for Windows Live Movie Maker. And hopefully this was useful to you. Hopefully it didn't take up too much of your time. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more videos. And check me out on Twitter. I'll leave the links at the end of the video. All right, take care, guys.